In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up WooCommerce prices by user role in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So the first thing you want to do is head over to WooSuite.com and download the wholesale pricing plugin. I'll leave the link in the description below. Once you've done so, let's go ahead and head back over to our dashboard. Okay, assuming that you've installed and activated the WooSuite pricing plugin, we'll head over to add-ons here. And then we will go ahead and install the wholesale pricing plugin. Once it's installed, we'll just go ahead and toggle this to on. Okay, once it's on, we can go ahead and refresh this page. Okay, now we can see the wholesale pricing plugin here. Okay, so we can go ahead and enable a role management. So this is great if you haven't actually set up any custom user role in your site as of yet. When you install this plugin, it will automatically create a wholesale customer role. But if you want to create any additional role, we'll go ahead and click add new. And then we can give this role a name. So we can call this one distributor. We will add this here. So this is the slug. So this is what users will see. And this is what will be stored in your database, basically. And then here where it says copy from. So this is important because it's going to copy the capabilities from the user role in which you select here. So we will just select customer. So we'll have all the privilege as a normal customer, basically. And then we'll click add role. Okay, and there we have our first role. So to access these um, pro function as well, you can just head back over to add-ons and you can install and activate the wholesale pro plugin as well. So we'll scroll down and here we've already got it installed. So we'll just activate it. Okay, then we can click this manage link here. And this will basically take us back to our wholesale pricing page. And now we have access to these options here. So we can remove the WooSuite branding and we can show only um, the user role prices. So I'll show you what this means in just a second. And you can also bulk export and import um, your user role pricing as well. So let's go ahead and just save changes for now. And then let's navigate to one of our product page and then let's click edit product. Okay. And now you can see this wholesale pricing rule option here. So here where it says um, applies to, so we'll go ahead and select specific user role. So we can select, for example, since I'm logged in as admin, I'm going to use admin as an example throughout this video, because it's just easy for me to show you um, the price difference. So here we can see the regular price is $40. And then here it says wholesale price. So we can select, um, let's say for example, $20. And then when we update this product and then go to view this product, the whole, the price should be um, $20 since I'm logged in as an administrator. So let's go ahead and check this out. So here we can see the user role price is displaying as it should, but we also can see the regular price here. So Let's head back over to our dashboard. And this is what this options for where it says show the wholesale price only. If we enable this option, so it will only show the, the pricing for that specific user basically. So we can go ahead and hit save changes. And now when we refresh this page, this price should be gone. And now we can see the price is $20. So if we head back over to our dashboard, we can actually create multiple um, prices for different um, user roles. So we just click add new rule. And in here, we can just go ahead and select a specific user role. And then let's say, for example, this distributor user role, which we created, let's say we want to charge this person $18 or this user group $18. And we can create another user group as well. Sorry, another user role pricing. And then here we can select wholesale customer. And then let's say they get it for $17. Then we can just hit save changes. And we can quickly add user role pricing by using the bulk import and export function. But we won't go into this in this video. I'll leave a link to it um, in the description below. And that's how you set up WooCommerce prices by user role in just a few simple steps. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. If you've got any questions, leave a comment in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.